mountains, you cannot escape. Jolly good. Okay, what we have here, he's quoting the last samurai now. Um, <laughs> what we have here is an awesome real deal from a Japanese bamboo mountain forest. It's here. An excellent, very solid, strong stuff. It's uh, 137, 130 centimeters tall. And uh, it's just freaking awesome. It's a, it's a, <coughs> it's a walking stick. <laughs> That's what it is. And so it supplies, you know, great. It feels fantastic to walk with this thing. Um, it supplies excellent protection against grizzly bears polar bears yeah panda bears but i cannot guarantee uh, on paper to sign that it's uh excellent protection against say uh koala bears i, I, I can't guarantee that oh. They're everywhere in Australia. We call them drop bears. In fact, Steve Irwin was killed by a one. They're very dangerous creatures indeed. And uh, the tourist industry uh, lobbied the government, said, hey, uh, say it was a, a stingray. We well, yeah, 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 because they didn't, you know, they didn't want the tourist industry to collapse. So um, that's what happened. So you'll find that this thing is awesome. Yes. Honestly, it's fantastic to walk, walk with, and uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> what I'm going to do, is I'll have to, due to length, it'll have to be um, go via EMS air. Yeah. Now these days I've got those extra surcharges and all that sort of stuff going on, but oh, that'd be nice if I, I don't want to scratch it. <laughs> Wouldn't mind, uh, anyways. <laughs> it is to be used as a walking stick. See? If you're gonna talk the talk, you're gonna know how, you're gonna, well, you're gonna have to know how to walk the walk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. You'll be like, whoa, this is the real deal. Real deal from a Japanese mountain bamboo forest. Cut. Right then, let's go up here, shall we? Uh, this is Barb's favourite shrine, as far as I can reckon. <laughs> uh, here we have, right here, this is the real deal. See here? That's the real deal antique. It's a, uh, a Buddhist monk six ring shakujo, which is, um, is a, a high level Buddhist monk. Sure, that, that's antique, this, this piece here. That isn't, and this is. And it took a lot to get this to happen. So um, and it takes a lot to, you know, everything that goes involved in, in getting this sort of thing done. But uh, yeah, and you, you've got to go and send it and you've got to. EMS extra charge and all the stuff that go with it, but um, for now, for now, um, actually there's a Buddhist temple just down there. Uh, now they have a, like a drop-off center over there that they're putting all this stuff there, which will be going out on the morrow, as far as I understand it to be. Okay, so what we have here is awesome, solid as bamboo piece, which is uh, fairly. The fairly new shoots, I don't know, was it three years, two years, one year? I don't know, this stuff grows like wildfire, but um, it's just, this is awesome. It's one and a half meters long, it has to go via EMS, uh, for the, um, uh, due to the length. Yeah, oh, these are, yeah, that's, that's the real deal. See, some of the rings, there's two rings that are larger than the two smaller rings. So, I haven't seen that before. Um, I guess there's plenty of them around. I've seen, yeah, I've seen that at a Buddhist temple on uh, uh, Otago Shrine, which is 
and they've got a Buddhist temple halfway up, which is um, my kids' favourite shrine. So up the top of the mountain, but this thing's just awesome. So it's a, a Buddhist journey staff, and uh, you can also use it as a um, yeah. I mean, <coughs> um, it's a Buddhist journey staff. <laughs> Ten chance, yeah. Okay. Right. I'm on potato cam right now. I left um, tab cam up there. The cam, the audio is terrible. The audio mic doesn't work. Oh, this thing, yeah. When this is in bloom, it's fantastic. Beautiful flowers come out. That's why they set these things up. There's another shrine I go to on occasion. Now, I played golf with kids over here years ago and we set up a bell here and they live just over there. That was a long time back now, so they're probably what, in uni or something by now, I don't know. Kalasu. Crow, you showed up earlier today. Right. Honky Conky, that's back at the warehouse. That's Crowy's domain. Him and his mates hang out there. Yes, I remember slipping down there with these fancy shoes I had on. Dress shoes. Bad idea. Where do I whack probably over there? Or maybe here. My my ribs and uh I've hit there about three times. They're still not fully healed from not that one. Another one that was even worse. Three major whacks right in the same spot. Yes. <laughs> Are we gonna go up there? I'm sure Barb would like me to do so. Alright. Check this out. Barb over the years has bought a number of bells off me. What about the mid size one? Hmm? That's just awesome. This is an awesome. Oh, that's that one. That. That uh, painting there is breaking down, isn't it? Over all this time. Let's take a few different go in here. Haven't been here in quite some time, indeed. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Um, Meiji Nananen Shigatsu. On an auspicious day that was painted on the, in the seventh year of Meiji period, 1868, 1870, 1870, that one year for the first year of Meiji period, 1870, 1874 that was painted. In April, on the 20th day, generally, call that an auspicious day. This bloke's riding his horse, the horse looks pretty ticked off, he's like, hey, it's a lucky nut there. And, uh, his katana right there, yeah, look at that, yeah, look at that, that's all breaking away, and that's what happens. I've, I've been to some really old school shrines and found old paintings like this just placed underneath, slid underneath, and they still looked awesome, you know, you just put that piece back to you know back on or whatever and you're good to rock and roll but uh no one was around oh, i would have loved to just ask for them because they're just going to rot away you know yeah. just going to rot away so that's what these beams are used for <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, there's a couple of beams we have in one of these um, big warehouse things that we're cleaning out and there's a couple of big massive beams sort of four or five meters trying to deal with all right let's go on um yeah oh, i've got to think about what i'm trying to do here look at that old <laughs> back of his seconds later split second oh that's made out of wood that's carved out of wood see it looks like Right here it is, it's coming down to wood, but it looks like a, a koara made out of you know, ceramic tile stuff, or roof tile type stuff, but no. Okay, yeah, fantastic unit that. Feels fantastic to walk with it. 
and then you've got your old school this is this is a real deal old school that's an antique right there it's a real deal old school probably older than that that's not what we just looked at that painting mm-hmm all right right let's uh Alright, I'm gonna inform our barb that uh, this after this video, and uh, I'll, so I'll go walk up those stairs. And, uh, yeah, let's get this um, these key eye on this one. Ah, oh, 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 balance. B A L A N C E. Sit down. <laughs> Shishi sans. You rarely see two sets of shishi sans. That's what they have here. Right, let's go. Yeah, a lot goes into sort of making this happen. So, you know, the price is too cheap. Really, it is. I mean, that's. So, to try to get another one of those, like that, that, an old school like that. Hey, this is alright. Lean on this, right? Lean on me. And uh, you can, oh, oh, back in the day, I walked straight in a whole bunch of, a um, whole bunch of spider webs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is awesome. Here we are. I wonder if that's open. It is. Oh no. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Susie Bell. Single hand clap. Pray. Yes. Uh. Whew. Okay, what do we have right here? Koala. Toily things there. You always, always got some groovy things that they slide under these things. Oh, what have we got here? Brad. A mini shine. There's a fox. What do they call them? Kitsune? Is that right? Kits, kitsune? Kusune. There's a 10 yen. 5 Five yen. So people would come here and, uh, and um, pray to their ancestry. See, you've got like um, you've got your little bowl things and for the sake. People bring along sake and off case to leave them here. And they do they do? Here we go. There's a can of booze. See, someone's in some boozy poos here. Right. You can always find grooms in here. Yeah. So, uh, elderly ladies like the one that passed me, you know, they come up here and come up to all these places and whoosh, whoosh, keep it all nice and keep it all nice. So places like this, like I, I say to people, if you go on all rough guide kind of style, you know, you can, uh, if you're rough enough and tough enough, and you get yourself a sleeping bag, a spa bath, and you know, a sauna. You have to bring them, obviously, you know. And uh, <laughs> you're going all rough, guide, you know. Bring yourself a, uh, you, you'll need um, some mosquito netting, that's for sure. <laughs> and there's the, the, the car, they call called car mosquitoes. They? they come and get you. So you get yourself some netting from the local hardware store, wrap that around yourself. You're good to rock and roll. Yeah, you fashion some kind of thing that'll sort of like a tenty kind of thing you slide under that, and uh, that's something real lightweight. And uh, you can um, go to places like this and and uh, enjoy the beautiful nisses 
pray to your ancestry, bring booze, no one's going to say anything because people do that all the time. So there's nothing wrong with that. And, uh, we generally don't sleep at the places, but who's going to know? So that's the thing. Yeah, I think Barb likes this. But hello. <laughs> So that's for definitely what I would do if I was going all rough guide style. If I was still, you know, say I was back in my 20s or something like that. I could still do it now. God, I'm already looking at this and parkour and off that slide and down there. Hey! Yeah. Downhill mountain bike, all these things. I could do that easily. I used to do that sort of stuff all the time. Oh yeah, I'd take that on my heart. But... Yep. Okay, let's head back. Taniguchi showed up. He said, Oh, hey, where are you? Are you up for a <laughs> And he's, I said, Don't throw you up for a ride. He said, No, 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 you. <laughs> I'm like, No, I'm in, I'm in the warehouse. He's, Oh, I'm at the top warehouse. Okay. Then we went up to see him, we burn off some stuff and things like that. Um, so we're hooking into it. And uh, today I've got quite a few things to do. Let's see now, where did I leave tab cam? There it is. Get more HD type of pictures at least. Oh, watch out for that mushy right there. Don't step on him. See, they always look down. Yes. If you're, well, I'm no Jane Monk or nothing like that. I'm sure I've expressed that, but pretty quiet. <laughs> Maybe it's the next world that good things are going to happen for me because things are just shit. <laughs> I mean, they, on the surface they look fantastic, but I get stressed out of your brain. So that's why I like to come to places like this so you don't have to think about all the, the bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you are feeling things in your life, you know, there's other people aren't too good. Yeah, what a selling point. Grab one of these dealies. You don't even need to grab one, you just get a walking stick. And go for a nice long walk in the mountains. A mountain path. Preferably not somewhere that has like tigers, mountain lions. They're not really that tough, but um, jaguars. Leopards, cheetahs are okay. There, you can run away from them. Um, pumas, <laughs> ah, snow leopards, yeah. Yeah. Siberian tigers. You don't want to walk around areas like that. But yeah, you know. On a serious note, yeah, grab yourself a walking stick. Do what I used to do when I was a little kid, eight, nine, ten years of age. I never had an education. I was running around the Sherbrooke Forest. Yeah, not Sherwood, it was Sherbrooke, with a with a monkey stick. Granted, I, I cut the the edge tool off my mother's um, <laughs> concrete uh, concrete trimming edgy tool thing because it was the same the same colour as the monkey stick. And, I'm like, ah, da, 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 da. and I'd, I'd be running around in the forest and bashing trees and jumping around and going all they call it parkour now yeah, don't they <laughs> loved it eh? didn't have a care in the world nor stress so uh, that's a good idea to just go into the mountains grab a stick and go for a walk on that many times. Oh, nice, huh? Ooh, okay. Well, time to grab that tab cam. I actually left something here one day. <laughs> oh, came back. It was still here. Yeah. Right. Now, 
hopefully I'll sell this soon and it'll pay the rent. <laughs> yeah. Hey, soldier on, I say. Soldier on. Yeah, this is run out. Let's cut. Right, let's have a look at this thing, shall we? This is a massive. It's about a meter long. Oh no, right on a meter long, really. Um, now, uh, they call these things a, um, Hagoita, and, uh, in English we call it a, some kind of paddle, um, and, uh, it represents this, uh, sport, uh, chap over there said, yeah, it's like cricket, <laughs> um, and you have this, like, a uh, racket ball type of thing, um, this traditional kind of game, as far as I know. And, um, yeah, it's huge, and uh, what I plan to do is uh, send it along via sea, because we don't have silicon air anymore, um, which that would be perfect for it. Um, due to its length and weight, uh, see, so I was thinking, you know, what's the best way here? So I'm thinking a sea freight net, which obviously has, in recent years, taken a very long time, but uh, due to its size and, and weight as I say it's um trying to figure that out sea freight would be is really the only option um so I'll sell it off cheap it's um it's a uh, it's very nice piece indeed it's huge so uh that's uh I think would um I think that painting on the back there represents some kind of flower arrangement yeah um yes that's what that represents right there no, there you go okay so it is a it is a lovely piece indeed isn't it all right now let's move on to something else shall we we'll have to plonk that thing in there yeah, right. so that thing here slides in there, right. Okay, now, uh, right, what's next? Okay, as I was, uh, uh, going over, uh, doing some things over there, I managed to dig these up. Um, these are some, um, also, some I listed some yesterday. I'm going to call these uh, a note for me, January. Uh, January. Um, what month is it? <laughs> May fifteenth. <laughs> okay. Um, and yeah, it's got a. This lid's got a bit of cracking in the in the top there. Um, now these uh, here are pretty groovy, aren't they? Yes them to be stones um now uh well we um there's plenty of them so hey yeah, plenty of them enough to enough to play this for certain all right um right yes they, uh, i'm gonna note for me i'm gonna write that down right now um it's not january <laughs> right i'll get to that i'll be back let's get a I'll get a picture of it like that. We'll see. Cut. What we have here is an interesting piece. No legs. Um, I'm thinking, because uh, I plan on doing something with these here. Uh, it's a Kaya, Kaya ball. Down there. Um, it's a, yeah, Kaya ball. And I think because... Um, of its size, uh, it's only 80 mil uh, wide. A little bit of a kizu, a bit of a scratchy poos there. But uh, as far as conditions concerned, like the um, corners are pretty good. Um, playing surface is lovely. So it'd be a shame to for me to sort of leave it back there on the shelf. Um, it's got real nice grain lines. Um, Someone out there probably want to make some legs for it or something, but I I envision this to be something that I, I plan on sea freight it anyway. Um, envision this to be something that you know it's, it's not too 
cumbersome kind of thing to actually, you know, you could take this to places and um, plonk it on the floor just as uh, that's been sorted out. That's an itch-o board right there. That's pretty much the most coveted wood for, for go boards around. And you've always got all kinds of anomalies and cracks and stuff because it's the character of this particular type of wood that they're into. So someone's the this also doesn't have legs and it's uh, got this like padding stuff that someone stuck on there so in order to plonk it on a surface. Um, so I think this here, yeah, it'd be well if I if I was gonna send it, I'll put some wood stripping around it kind of thing and then pack that and and uh, I think this would be pretty rad to be able to take to places. Lovely brain lines and so it's I've had it for, I don't know how long I've had it for, who knows. Um they're definitely well worth you know someone out there would love to take this to different places in their mate's place and uh get some sake, plonk this on the floor, get themselves some pieces. I've just listed some a few yesterday and, and uh sorted some out today. Um and then they can have a go at playing that. Um but sea freight, you know, taking a, a very, very long time. But, uh, yes, I, uh, I don't really want to deal with this. But um, I figure someone out there would love to be playing on this. So, yes, it's just duty and all. It's a, it's a conscience thing. All right. <laughs> okay. I had to, had to not just put it back on the shelf. All right. Because, um, you know, I have to come here i have to back and then go through all this computer -y stuff to for the postal service -y stuff and then you got to go to the post and the gasoline is i'm not going to get a dime out of it <laughs> but, you know i even ah oh. that's the way it is Cut. oh and incidentally i uh i actually carried it back there and as i was carrying it i noticed that this here um, this proves that it's um, a worthy board. Um, that someone uh, must have been pretty expensive at some stage. Um, but you know the coloration of it. It looks so kaya, but when you when you have a closer sort of inspection look of it, it does. Its coloration is so similar to Itcho. You know, I didn't want to call it itch because, you know, that's that's the most expensive and, you know, coveted stuff. But I'm telling you, it's so... Oh, let me just point this out. Um, This is why I'm kind of leaning more to itch on here, because this is an insert. Someone's actually placed, you know, that's an insert right there. Someone's made something up to insert into a, a position there, so possibly it had cracking lines in there, and they decided to do something about it. I know not. So, typical of me, it won't make a dime out, but it's probably it, shot. It probably is. Yeah, yeah, oh my, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's it, shot. It's unnerving me now. <laughs> Dog! Uh, yeah, it's... Yep. <sighs> Not gonna even think about it. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna call it... What month did I say it was again? May 15th insert board. That's what you're called forevermore. Okay, well, 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 what to do about this? <laughs> this is Itcho. It's the type of wood. It's the most coveted stuff you can find. No legs. Great big bonk out of there. Um, this indicative, typical of um, Itcho, they've often got cracking and stuff in the wood, but they've got such um, character. If you could, well, uh, Follow me and I'm cracking down there, but you know, it sort of goes to there from the knots and stuff in this sort of wood. And they have like 
character, you know, like, look at that. I mean, someone's put this stripping, sticky stripping stuff on it in order to um, be able to place that uh, on a surface and have it sit just wonderfully. You know, it doesn't slide around, it doesn't go anywhere. Um, a beautiful playing surface, very, like, it feels like you're feeling something that's glazed, you know. Um, on this side here. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, look at that. It looks like a sun, you know, or something. Some kind of astronomical object that's just going boom. <laughs> I was going to say champagne supernova, but those those English guys, you know, that called Paul McCartney uh, surf frog lyrics. Ah, surf frog lyrics. Um, well, those the whoever they are, the champagne supernova. God, I can't stand their music. It's like kryptonite. <laughs> Yeah, what are they calling it? Oh, who cares? Um, God, I can't stand that. I can't stand that music. He was playing it the other a few weeks back, and I just got all my gear together. Come on, let's get all our stuff. Let's get everybody our stuff together. Okay, three, two, one. The jam. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I just left. Now, okay, we'll be back. Now, uh, comes with this old school box. Now, I never got around to listing this. Thing. So, I, uh, I just, I had that written on it, uh, GB10, go board 10, itcho, no legs, and there's your sizes there, um, and Paul, uh, I, um, let's see now, four, four. I've got four, four, three, then I've written down four, four, four there, huh? uh, uh, um, Alright, one thick seven, one thick eight, okay, four oh four, yes, that's correct. Right. One six eight, I've got one six seven. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just write that down. Okay, so this dealy here, very heavy, right? You could use this as like one of those medicine balls or something if, with your friends that you don't like. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> maybe some German dude or some some Frenchy. Sometimes they buy stuff off me and they don't understand what I'm saying. Hey, <laughs> you yeah. know, yeah, this thing here. Yeah, the plan is to sea freight it. Um, yeah, that looks wild, eh? Um. See you freighted uh, due to just its mass weight, and so it's going to take a very long time. Now, I'm wondering um, what to do. Uh, there, see, I've got some legs around, there's got some looseness on one of those legs, and due to its size, it just can't be sent. So, I'm thinking of knocking those legs out, but uh. Got some leggy poos here from some smaller board from what I recall. So I'm, I'm gonna have to list these over the next few days. So what I plan to do is um not much in the way of G board resources anymore. Maybe someone out there see sometimes people like to buy these, just just these, and so they uh, like to make up their own boards and things. I reckon, but, uh, see these aren't from this because that's a circly thing there and that's not a circly thing there, so they generally match up, but the, uh, so this here I'm wondering, ah, massive these things are, ah, massive these things are, right? because this board's so massive, um, I have to take those out, but I'm thinking I'll just list them separately or something like that. I'll get around to that. Now, what I'm thinking, these are very, very similar in size. Um, maybe it was redone. See? But they're loose, so if you were to put some wedges, make up some wood wedges or something like that, these could work, yeah. So let me know on that one. Well, I'm just going to list them anyway. Someone might jump on them. 
Uh, if some rich dude might buy this and some poor dude buy this and the rich dude says hey I'll give you whatever you want for those and then who lucks out again <laughs> yeah that's the story of my existence now um, this yeah comes with this cover and that's all uh, I plan tall as I say um, we'll stick that in the ground yeah <laughs> um, um, it's yeah, bloody heavy, and uh, so I'm just gonna have to hang on. Let me just try to handle this. You got it, get on. Let's go. She kind of goes in all right. Now, the plan is. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm getting tired, man. I mean, come on. What's going on here? What are we doing? Where are we going? What's going on right now? Let me try to figure this out. Anyway. Cut. Right, so that's the plan with that. Uh, I was just checking that it wasn't that box. That one's just size was huge. Um, now, uh,. So that's definitely for that one. Uh, now, uh, yeah, so I'll see. Have to see freight that like that. Uh, not not exactly. Like it will be wrapped, you know. Um, but yeah, the freight takes a very long time. <laughs> but what I will be doing is listing these. Try and do that on the morrow, I reckon, because uh, they would complement this quite well. You know, you rip that stuff off here and then whack them on and maybe make up some wedges or something yeah that's up to you all right but it's bloody heavy and uh it's not really something i want to deal with <laughs> done right let's move on to this one Cut. a decision has been made okay what i'm gonna do i'll just sort of list these um, as something I can air freight um, due to size and weight so yeah they're pretty groovy I'll give you some specs here um, once they would be inserted you'll find that a little over 110 from there you know, overall you've been about 140 kind of thing and uh, width you're looking at 75 mil, something on those lines, if I can go like that. Now, alright, so I'll, I'll list those. Uh, right, let's get on to this, and let's go and um, get some food. Oh, I am. Um, yeah, because one was loose here, and just due to the mass size of this thing, uh, what I plan to do is I'll I'll just list these like I'm doing with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sell that itch or crazy cheap because it, I consider it, you know a, a repair board kind of thing. But I like the way it just sits with the they come up with this idea of just putting this sticky stuff, soft sticky stuff here, and that uh, sits beautifully. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something, it's, you know, it's an antique, who knows how old it is, um, it's well worth, you know, shouldn't be sitting on the shelf, someone should be playing with that thing, so, um, yeah, <laughs> right, uh, okay, uh, right, let's get on to this one now. Okay, the plan is with this one, because one of these legs was loose and, uh, I, uh, went and... Oh, I figured just due to the basic idea was okay the loose and stick a wedge and whatever but it's just because it's so massive I mean hang on a second yeah oh well, let me just do this <laughs> bonky poos there beautiful playing surface feels very nice um yeah in the attempt to knock these out uh, a big chunk of that decided to come out <laughs> um yeah now this is an artisan board and uh, 
my spidey senses tell me. See, so this is all anomaly stuff. Um, my spidey senses tell me. That, where, where is it? As I was knocking them out. Um, yeah, I was figuring the bloke that made this, he's probably thinking, oh, I'm not going to go to some shop and play through, you know, and play a pay three grand or so for a go ball you can't believe the price i've been in this fancy pants shops <clears throat> in the fancy pants cities with fancy pants shops and um seeing go boards for just just ridiculous numbers i didn't even want to i just ran out of there screaming anyways so this bloke um he's decided all right i'm gonna drink myself a few sarkes and uh make my own all right so he decided to i'm gonna list these separately and I figured, so, he's made this, and he's like, yeah, yeah and he's having a few more sarkies. And this is probably exactly what really happened. Because uh, one of these legs, I'm sure he must have, by the time he got around to this one, he started to, um, he's had a, he's, he's a bit legless. <laughs> he's had a few too many drinky poos, and the, uh, the carving gets a little bit worse. And worse this one's a bit on the piss, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, that's... Well, at least I've got a bit of a laugh out of that. Now, I'm going to sell this crazy cheap. I'm going to stick this in its, in its original box here. And uh, sea freight this, sea freight this. Obviously, as I said, it takes a very long time. Um, so chuck that in there, sea freight that. And um, just crazy cheap I'm going to sell. Oh, man, I had to... Just trying to knock this bloody thing out. <laughs> I can do it. Oh, yeah, I've been here for ages. Um, uh, there you go. Now. Uh, and let me just chuck him in there. Now I'm gonna list these. Um, you know they'd plonk back in, or oh, if you can <laughs> orient them, you can probably orient them by the. Uh, see, he's put some bonding on there, and you can see the bonding marking there. I'm gonna sell these separately. Um, yes. Um, oh, that's uh the the wood type is sugi, all right, which is a type of Japanese pine type stuff. Okay. Now, uh, oh, they wouldn't even, I couldn't even, I'm trying to figure out the sizing, oh, I'll have to measure all this up. Okay, bloody heavy, I don't want to carry that around a lot. I'm not even going to put a stickery thing on it to remind me which one it is, because I'm going to know. <laughs> I swear on all the gods I can name, I nearly knocked my kneecap up when I was trying to get one of these bastards. Anyways, yeah. Cut. Well, lo and behold, so there was a time when I planned on listing this thing, and uh, so I did have a sticker on it. GB11 Artisan. There you go. And, uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, that's a big board. Now, what have I written down ages ago? 466, 436. What have I got there? 467, 436. That's quite a um, lot. Yeah, 275 was when it had legs. Okay, so let's lose that. Yeah, that's done. Okay, and we'll scrub off that info. Right. <laughs> right. Now she has no legs. Legs are over there. But they're pretty rad, hey? Like some bloke did that in his shed, you know? Back in the day, man. Yeah. But I'm sure he had a few too many sarkers on this one. <laughs> pretty sad. Yeah. File that over there. Yeah. Alright. Now, um, chuck those on the shelves and uh, I'll get myself, put some food in my guts. That's what I plan on doing. Well, I didn't get a chance to get in there and play with all that dust again, <laughs> all that uh, moving all that stuff and just, you know, selecting what we're going to keep and throw and take to the metal scrap shop and all that, um, scrap yard. Ah, but now uh, I've got to upload videos and do some other ingenuity thing or whatever. 
But um, yeah, Taniguchi, you got to do a bit too, and we did some other stuff, and then, um, um, yeah, we're gonna get in there on the morrow. Uh, so I should have a fair bit of time on the morrow to get in there. Shan't be going to an auction house. I uh, just don't have any dough. <laughs> I told the bloke that I usually meet up there. I said I just, you know, buy stuff, but. <laughs> You know, just hoard all this crap that no one wants, I don't know. Um, that's not my, my online stuff, but that's the stuff that uh, sometimes I sell here, like markets and things, and, and uh, you know, you can buy a whole bunch of stuff, and sometimes things go okay, but uh, then you leave with all this other stuff. It's like, man, I don't know, but it's fun, it is. See? You will be poor, and have nothing, you have nothing, and you will be happy. <laughs> Thanks, Carl Schwab. <laughs> oh, yes, um, what a nice chap. <laughs> Once it's all executed. Anyways, um, what we're going to do now is yeah, head back to the ranch. Um, need to pick up some more chicken and uh, some roughage. <laughs> right? Um, could have gone down there, yeah, let's go down there. Oh, I've kind of passed it now, haven't I? Yeah. We've done it now. Um, that would have been nice to go down there. Yes, we can do it, yeah. Sure, let's do that. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Princes of the universe. People talk about you. Beautiful here now. So peaceful. heard of black garlic but it is what gave me these a chap came around the other day friends with those other chaps and he said oh all these garlic and I'm like don't look too good <laughs> and then he said no no this is real this is you know, try one and just have one one a day you don't have more than that and it's actually delish like delish yeah you know I go, uh, <laughs> he goes uh, he opens his up and opens mine and uh, he says oh rip that open and I'm looking at him and I'm waiting for him to eat one first. <laughs> I was going to notice that. Yes. Um, so he uh, chowed down on that one. I did. Um, ooh. There's those uh, thingies to frighten the birds away. That one had a go at me. I was walking down here in the middle of the night. And had a go at me and I had a few drinky pieces. And I decided to go all kung fu on the thing. <laughs> it felt like it. Hey? And it lights up and all this all this nonsense when you get real close to it. Middle of the night it just goes off and you're like, hey! Hmm? Oh, they're solar powered, eh? These little zing, well, you're not doing it now, are you? <laughs> wow. Alright, got a fair bit done. Piece by piece, day by day. It could be that bastard right there. Yes, it probably is. Mm -hmm. Didn't get me, did you? <laughs> yeah, you mother. <laughs> hey, you got these lighty things, yeah, and it goes all zingle zingle on you. Yeah? And um, walking along here, at, walking along here at um, at two o'clock in the morning. I've done that a few times. Uh, there's a whole bunch of wild pigs around here living there and one of those bats is like huge they can get away over 100 kilos or whatever, 205,000 kilos or whatever it is I'm talking this big huge and uh, it could eat me I mean shit I'm only like what am I 71 kilos now uh, <laughs> you know but I fluctuate a lot you know 
I fluctuate between, say, in the last 30 years, I've fluctuated between, say, 70 and 72. I don't, it's kind of a lie, I didn't really get to 73. <laughs> or maybe I did. At, at my most heaviest, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. Alright. Nimble, yes, I am. Yeah. Oh, a man of your ingenuity. <laughs> now, um, let's get back to the ranch. Uh, pick up some, see how much wealth we have. I've got, well, oh, 102 yen. <laughs> Great. I might have some dough in the, uh, in the ashtray. I've got some dough in my highway money keep spot. So that should. Might have enough after all. <laughs> yeah! Uh, oh, I tell you, I'm growing my hair out the back right because it's the last samurai hairstyle and um, it's the last thing of like available to me. I saw this wild kung fu movie years ago. Oh, I want that dude's hairstyle. wavy hair. Now, um, I can feel with the wind, so yeah, you can see a bit of a breeze. Um, I, I sported the Bruce Willis for many years, and um, now I'm not sporting that. It's coming, it's coming along. Maybe another year, it's going a lot slower than expected. But I'm feeling the breeze in, in, in the back of it, you know, in, in my hair, and the, the, the way the wind that, that feeling, I'm serious, that, that's actually serious, a serious moment, <clears throat> they're rare, um, I can feel this gorgeous breeze in the back of me, from, the, from all the hair going, yeah, see, try that three times, now, um, yeah, so it's a great feeling, um, I felt that the other night when it was real sort of, just real breezy and nice, I can feel all the hair just going, Gorgeous here. <laughs> All right, now back to getting serious. Er, <laughs> serious -er. Let's see if we get some more things done. Ooh, cookie. Yeah, now we have. What do we have uh, in exchange for chicken? We've got cubby cubby spray and a leaf. Right, good. That means mouldy. Stick that on your arm. Um, oh, there we go. Dollar ten, mate. Oh, there's a hundred and ten yen right there. Good. We're getting close. I better pocket that. So that's a hundred and. Did I say hundred and? That's two hundred and twelve yen. Ah. Whoa, here we go. Might have a cachet here. Oh uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, Right, let's pull these resources. <laughs> this lady drove past me laughing. Hey, why are they laughing at my hairstyle? Now, 100, 200, 350 yen. Oh, you're going to come in handy. Now, uh, oh, 360, 70, 80, 90, 100, 400 yen. Bob, I hope you buy that, like that middle bell. Yeah. <laughs> Um, now, uh, four twenty, four thirty, four thirty-five, four forty. Oh, yes, I can buy this chicken. Uh, what did I say? Four forty, four, 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 what? Oh God, he's lost his train of thought again. Now, three hundred and. Make 
takes four forty. Shit, this is not working out too good. Four forty six. Is that right? Yeah. Got four hundred and forty six yen. Okay, now I believe that I might be able to get enough chicken. Oh shit, I need to get the roughage. Oh, I won't be able to get roughage for rice. No one gives a shit about this story. Talk over music, they won't shadow ban you even more. <laughs> hey, and uh, you see, oh, he's a good time, isn't he? You see these um, the um, comments counts, and you see, I reckon the numbers are all fudged for everybody, you know, like 600 and 460 odd, 470 odd my loyal Ronin and uh, you get like two comments you know and you see some dudes on um, some platforms even not just YouTube but on other platforms you know they're a million subscribers and they get like five comments and shit I mean it's it's all fudged mate fudged fudgy poos that's what it is it's all bullshit <laughs> it's a kind of magic huh? is there an echo in here <laughs> yeah. Alright then, now, we've got about a 20 minute drive, mm -hmm. and then what we've got to do, see if we can get some roughy gens and chicken for 446 yen, considering um, the years of inflation, that ain't going to happen. Come. I think we might get lucky here after all, I spied, <laughs> I mean looking down here and I'm like, oh. I've got 446 yen, I could get that, but no roughage, so, um, I've noticed I spied in there 323 yen for that one, and I did some calculations, let's do this, now, what we do, we went over here, <laughs> and uh, I'll show you what Humboon is, um, or, Something like that. I just know the uh, I just know the kanji for Han, right, meaning harp. Now with my 446 yen, this kanji here means half price. That means half, hanbun, han, something like that. So what I figured out is if I get my little calculator brain out. If I halve 149 yen down to 75, round it up, and, and add <laughs> 368 yen, I will end up with 3 yen. <laughs> I believe this to be true. Might have to do some calculation checkings. Hopefully my understanding of this kanji is correct also. <laughs> Let's find out. I could even afford a bag, I don't need one. Here we go, let's see all the calculator they rounded down. 442 Tabun <laughs> This lady always finds me interesting. Now, how many times have I Homer Simpson heart attack style? She's a bit. Um I might be okay, Mitch. Chodo, yay! Look at that, I got four yen left. <laughs> Arigato. Now, many stores, though, you show the price, but they they don't show the zeking, which is the tax. Uh, or should I say, they, they do show the zeking and the tax. Now, if they don't show that, that means the tax is included. All right. So, when you buy stuff from this joint, tax is already included so you don't have to do those calculations or well, some places you might buy some bulldust and I only just realized I left my rig up the top um, some places you might buy some bulldust and then 
they you got a lump on the tax, which when I first got here was five percent, and they went to eight percent. Now they're ten percent, and soon they're going to be three thousand billion percent. And how many times have I Homer Simpson heart attacked? I look like I'm just so oh, I'm about to have a freaking heart attack with this stupid plate toxic bullshit. And um, yeah. So it's very difficult. That's why I can't have um many options as far as hairstyles are concerned <laughs> you can't believe the amount of times but i'm not gonna think about that um i'm gonna go and get the rig yeah quite tired okay Cut. ah even took the elevator i never do that um well Granted, there were some babes in there, so I was like, whoa, I might have to just jump in there. Anyways. They doll up and dress up to go shopping. I fucking hate shopping, okay? I fucking hate it. But, I'm just trying to be happy. Yes. Yeah. Now, what do we got here? We've got Cubby Cubby Spray for the moldy shower. Good. Found some more leaves and we have a brush. Hit it. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. 